What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video, we are out practicing for a tournament at one of my local lakes. We got a few jerkbait fish and we caught some on the underspin. The jerkbait that I was using was the Six Sense Provoke Deep Diver. I had that set up on the 7.2 Medium Sensory Rod. I love that one for the jerkbait. And then for the underspin, had the Divine swim bait in the 2.7 inch and I had that on the Lux spinning rod. Take a watch of the video guys. I think you're gonna learn some stuff about spinnerbait fishing, jerkbait fishing and on the underspin. So I'll see you guys at the end of the video. We're starting off today with a spinner bait. We've had a bunch of rain lately. The water levels have come up here. We got brush up shallow. And even though the water temperature is still cold in the mid 50s, a lot of times these fish will move up when that water's coming into the lake and they'll get up shallow. So we're gonna try that out first. We got a little bit of wind as well, which will help the spinner bait bite hopefully. So we're just gonna slow roll this spinner bait around, see if we can find some dirty water and uh, hopefully catch some fish. If we don't get bit here pretty quick, I don't think the spinnerbait bite will be going, so we'll have to switch it up and uh, just keep trying to figure these fish out. So what we have right here in front of us is a point with some brush on it that goes out into the water. So that's gonna mean that there's some flats out there as well. And this is a prime area to throw a spinnerbait. Now, just because you have these conditions doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna bite the spinnerbait, but this is something that I like to look for when I am fishing a spinnerbait. The spinnerbait comes through that brush super, super good. And we have that wind blowing up onto this point as well, which also is gonna help that reaction bite with the spinnerbait. There we go. Fish on. On the drip bait. Stay on, fish. Stay on there. Oh, it's a good one, too. That's a good fish. On the drip bait, guys. The deep diver from the Six Sense Provoke deep diver I was catching fish on this one at Havasu. Now we're catching them in San Diego. That's a good one. I'll take that guy. That's pretty fun, guys. I love throwing the jerk bait. I just wish they would eat it here more often than they do. I wasn't sure if I was gonna catch one on it today, but we did. So I'm trying to pre-fish for a tournament out here and I haven't been out to this lake in months. I don't even remember the last time I was out here but the fishing's probably gonna be tough overall. We've had a lot of weather come through and I thought the weather that had come through was gonna make the water dirty out here, but it's actually super clear still. So that's kind of interesting. And we have some weather that's gonna come through tomorrow before the tournament. So honestly, anything that I find out here today, I don't know if it's gonna hold up, but I just needed to see the lake. I haven't seen anything. I need to see how much the water had come up with all the recent rains that we've had and everything. So that's why I started off with the spinnerbait thinking it was gonna be a little bit dirtier super clear still which it normally is so i switched over to the jerk bait and just started throwing it around came into an area that i always um, like to fish and i just got that one so pretty good little start right there haven't thrown the jerk bait too too long um it took me a little bit longer to get that bite than i would like but hey it's like a three pounder um i'll take that on a tournament day so i'm not going to put this jerk bait down just yet i want to see if i can get at least one more bite on it before i put it down um, i like to be able to get at least a bite or two on something before I feel like it's something that is actually happening on the lake. One bite can be random, but usually if you get a couple, there's usually some sort of consistency there. So I wanna see if I can, you know, get another bite out here fishing the jerk bait before I commit to anything like that. Um, I threw the spinner bait a lot. I'm gonna pick it up again here pretty soon. I'd like to see if these fish are shallow. Oh, there's another one. That's a good one too. <clears throat> that was not planned guys, but I'll take it. Just sitting there on that pause another jerkbait fish so i guess we have a little pattern in here all this wind's probably been blowing in here and stuff like that got these fish in here another one on the jerkbait one after another so we're gonna we're gonna get out of here at least and uh let this spot rest because these fish are up here in the shallow area so we're gonna go to a different part of the lake and try to 
find some fish but another one on the deep diver jerk it's another you know three pounder right there guys that's a good one if there's fish up shallow and everybody else is going to be fishing deep which is typical fishing this time of year there's big ones up shallow when when it's like this so hopefully there is that shallow bite and it stays and i can catch some more of these fish well guys not gonna lie i'll take that one a little two and a half or so put them back in the water definitely gonna have to mark this spot it's just one of those things guys that you got to throw these baits in order to figure out if you have a pattern or not i could have a pattern i may not have a pattern but i got into this little bay right here some little bit of a flatter part of the lake it's one of my favorite areas to fish two fish in the area where i like to fish real quick so i'm gonna let this spot rest we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go fish some other areas of the lake Okay, so we got a lot of wind coming into this little bay that I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to pick up the spinner bait again and fish it a lot slower. Just really, really slow roll it, get it down a little bit deeper, and I might go up to a three quarter ounce because I think that jerk bait's just getting deeper than the spinner bait is, and those fish just might be a little bit deeper. So we're going to, you know, probably change it up, put a deeper one on, see if we can roll that thing through the deeper brush and uh, see if we can't get bit. <clears throat> There we go. Another one. There we go. It's another good one. <clears throat> there we go. Well, there's definitely a jerk bait bite, guys. Just gonna have to put it in my hand and keep on jerking it. A little three pounder, a little three pounder, I'll take that. Nice little spot right here, wind blowing on it. Some brush down there and a uh, little bit of rock. Good little spot right here. Well, since we're getting ready for a tournament, we're gonna put the jerk bait down. We've caught three fish on it, two different spots. So I think that that's a pattern. And if I can't find anything else, I might just put it in my hand and just keep throwing it all day um, on tournament day and just see what happens. Um, the ones I'm catching are decent. I think if I could get five of those, it'd be about 15 pounds, which is a pretty solid weight uh, for, for this time of year. It probably won't win, but it's definitely a solid weight. But um, you know, I like what I see with that jerk bait for sure, but we're gonna put it down so we don't catch any more fish with it. And uh, I'm gonna start dragging some stuff around because normally here you can catch some fish dragging, you know, like a little beaver style bait, like the six cents prawn or, you know, drop shot or something like that. So I'm gonna start doing some different stuff to just kind of give myself a few different options in case that jerk bait thing doesn't come through on, on the tournament. There we go. Little guy, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it would keep though. Divine swim bait, the little one. 2.7. On an underspin. Oh. There we go. Oh, he's a decent one too. I'm surprised. I didn't think that guy would was gonna be like that. Nice one, a little fat guy. Look at that. Nice and chubby. There we go, guys. It's so weird because every time I slow down and try to drag something around, I can't get bit, but as soon as I start moving something i start getting some bites um i'm gonna throw this a little bit longer see if i can get another bite with it and uh go from there but right now i could definitely go into the tournament throwing a underspin and a jerk bait that would that would actually be a pretty good game plan especially this time of year and every fish i've caught so far has been above average there's some small ones in here that you can seem to catch sometimes but today we've been definitely catching some above average fish, so that's good.
There is another one. Another one. There we go, guys. That didn't take long. That's two real quick. So I think the underspin is definitely going to be a player. There we go. Man, guys, I might have had like <clears throat> close to 15 pounds, which isn't bad. Isn't bad. And we hope missed the whole morning bite. But man, it's a fun day out here. Well guys, like I said, the jerk bait and the underspin was the deal. If you want to check out all the gear that I was using in today's video, make sure to check out the product list that I have down in the description. I also have my six cents discount code down there. It's Luna10. And then I'm also going to have links and discount codes to Omnia Fishing for the reels and the line stuff that I use. So make sure to check that out. If you guys want to see more about how I fish my jerk baits, make sure to click on the video that's on the screen right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video.